Apostle Raymond Wells and First Lady Olivia Wells presents In It to Win It, their new book. This book is a couple's guide to building a healthy marriage. Are you in it to win it? You can purchase copies of this book at 100% Bible Bookstore at the Mall of Marathon and at Living Waters Kingdom Ministries. In It to Win It. Go and get your copy. Thank you for tuning in to a Rhema Moment with Apostle Raymond Wells. Come peace to the table where the Rhema word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. Come peace to the table where the Rhema word is shared. Come drink from the fountain where the living waters flow. My brothers and sisters, in this year of progression to increase and elevation, we are seeing the favor of God in this church and in our personal lives as we have never seen it before. This is an awesome time for the body of Christ. If you are in the church, you better get ready because God is about to release to you more favor. He's about to increase his favor on your life like you have never seen it before. Guess what? If you backslid, you better get back in the church. Because the glory of God is getting ready to be revealed in a great and powerful way. Yes, you know, for a few weeks now, we've been talking about the manifestation of his presence, his personality, his power, and his prosperity. Well, it's in the house now. It's in the church. Those who are believe in God and trust in God, the glory of God, the power of God, the prosperity of God, and the personality of God is being made manifest. Last week, we started a powerful teaching on the favor of God, the spirit of Joseph. We're talking about, as we seek in this year to go, to progress, to elevation and increase, we believe in God that if you are going to walk into the fullness of God and all that God destined you to have, you must be assured of his favor. So let's go now as we continue this powerful teaching, and I'm going to come back with some more announcements. I don't know what you're going to do, but I want you to know this morning you got faith. Got faith with me. Through your trials, through your tests, through your hard times, don't worry. Got faith with me. Attack your character, attack your integrity. Don't worry, no, no. Touch a neighbor. He carries the person next to you. Tell him I got it. Tell him I got it. Everybody say yeah. 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 Say yeah. yeah. God favored me. Say yeah. 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 God favored me. Yeah.
spirit of Joseph is a visionary spirit. It is uh, the ability to understand dreams and vision. And Joseph had that ability, he had that gift to interpret dreams and vision. We said that Joseph's spirit is a team player spirit. If you're not a team player, then the spirit of Joseph is not on you. The spirit of Joseph is a team player spirit, say a team player. Even though his family uh, hated him and tried to kill him, his, his brothers tried to hate him and kill him, he understood the power of team. He understood the power of the team, and that's why he shared his dream, because he felt like if he would share his dream with those he think would or should support him, he would have gotten the support and the encouragement that he should have or gotten. Hit your neighbor say that, that, that don't happen uh, like that all the time. And you have to grow up because people you think should support you will be the ones who will disappoint you. That's all right. All right. So jo Joseph is a team player spirit. He has a trailblazer. Say trailblazer. He has a trailblazer spirit. And I want you to know you got a trailblazer anointing on your life. God has sent you ahead to prepare the way of those who will come behind you. You're not usual. There's nothing casual about you. The hand of God is on your life and you have a trailblazer anointing. All right? Joseph's spirit is a spirit of endurance. Say endurance. And that's why they threw him in the pit. They sold him into slavery. He was, he was lied on by Potiphar's wife. He was thrown in prison, but he endured whatever he needed to endure so that God can bring him to the place that God destined him to be. Joseph's spirit is an a increaser spirit. He is an increaser. Say increaser. Matter of fact, his name means increase or increaser. So Joseph has the ability to increase, and he also has the, abil uh, the ability to increase others or cause others to increase. Just touch the person next to you and say, whoever connect themselves to you in this year, they will increase. All right? Joseph's spirit is a spirit of prosperity. Say prosperity. He has a leadership spirit. He, he is an influencer, and he is also a forgiver. An influencer. Let me tell you something. If you're going to lead in any area of life, you must have the spirit of endurance. And some of y'all ain't ready to take lead yet because you're done getting mad and upset and frustrated over some minor, minute stuff. If you can't handle the little, little talk, you ain't ready for leadership. All right? So God said, Joseph, I have to take you through what I need to take you through because where I'm getting ready to put you, hallelujah, you got to be able to handle it and take it. All right? So when he got there, he was the one who forgave his brothers, and they thought Joseph was going to take them out. All right? Now let's look at Genesis 37. Now Jacob, underline Jacob, Jacob, because Jacob's name means trickster or deceiver. That's, ve that's very important for you to note. The, 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 the name of the person is the character of the person. It is the nature of the thing. So his name means Jacob, which means trickster. All right? This is Joseph's father. His name means Jacob here. Jacob, which means deceiver or trickster. So now the deceiver, the trickster, dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger. In the land of Canaan, this is the history of the trickster or the deceiver, Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and the lad was with the sons of Bilai and the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph, watch this, brought a bad report, increaser, brought a bad report of them to his father. Watch this. Now Israel, 
His name shift now from Jacob to Israel, which means the prince of God. Watch this. Now Jacob, the trickster. Now Israel, the prince of God, loved Joseph, the increaser, more than all his children. So it wasn't Jacob who loved Joseph more than the brothers. It was Israel, the prince of God, who loved Joseph more than his brethren. You, 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 you go get it later. Because he was the son of his old age, also he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers, watch this, underline saw, saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him. And could not speak peaceably to him. Now you wonder why when you get in the presence of people, there's so much contention. You got something on you that they don't have on them. This is our year of elevation and increase. We are progressing to elevation and increase. This is the year that we are taking the limits of God so that he can take the limits of us. What it means to take the limits of God. What it means to take the limit of God, it means, it means that you, you see God as someone who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can even ask or think. It means that uh, all things are possible because I believe him. It means that regardless of where I am, in the state that I am in, my God is able to deliver. It, 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 it means that I don't care how big the Goliath may appear to be. Hallelujah. My God is able to work in me both to will and to do of his. Okay, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. When you take the limits of God, you are saying, God, I'm in the earth. But whatever you want to do in me, I'm able to do it and more because you're backing me up. And I believe you're able to do it. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, you're serving a God that is limitless. Oh, y'all didn't say nothing. You're serving a God that is limitless. You're serving a God that, praise God, if you ask, it can be given to you. If you seek, you can find. And if you knock, the door is able to be opened. You serve a God that, praise God, is able to pass folks who are qualified and bring you to the front who are not qualified. That's the kind of God you serve. You serve a God that is bigger than cancer, bigger than high blood pressure, bigger than sugar diabetes, bigger than whatever poverty, whatever generational curse. You serve a God who is big, bad, all of that, a bag of chip, hallelujah, bigger than whoever is the president or prime minister. He set up kings and take down kings. You serve a God that if you believe him, he will do ex- Y'all go. I don't care where you are. I don't care what's going on in your life now. I don't care about your present state of circumstances. There's an anointing on my life that is going to bring your mind out of the pit and take you to the place of greatness. Come on, somebody, and superabundance. No longer will you allow people to dictate the ability that God has placed in your life. Your help does not come from man. Your help comes from God. So if somebody help you, it's because God empowered them to help you. God ought to be glorified and get praise and glory. Let's jump straight into this. There are some things we must understand about favor. First thing, 
you must understand about favor is that the favor that is given or shown to the unsaved is different from the favor shown to the children of God. Understand this, and this is where a whole lot of people are getting fooled right now. The unsaved has life. They have mere existence. They have the talents of God that's been given to them by God. God never took from man after the fall of man, man's ability to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. What man lost was his relationship with God. Spiritually, man was separated from God, but God never took from man the ability to be fruitful, to multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. And, 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 and this is why a whole lot of people get fooled. They get fooled because they are still uh, productive, they are still fruitful, they are prosperous, and they are successful, so why do I need God? That's where the devil fooling you. God never took from you his ability. You don't have his presence in your life then. So you have his mere existence. It's in him you live. It's in him you have your movement. It's in him you have your being. So you have mere existence. You have the talents of God and the gifts of God. You have his kindness shown to you every day. Let me show you the scripture text. It is written that he made the sun to shine on the good and on the evil. He sent rain. Rain speaks of blessings on the good and on the evil. Are, are you hearing me? So, so the same rain that you got this morning, it, it rained in your neighborhood? It rained in my neighborhood this morning. Okay, you didn't get it? Okay, that's, the, that's, that's, that's also a sign of you don't expect to get what the church have if you're in the world. And why you who are in the church letting the world intimidate you when you have more than what the world has? You have to know what you want. Every now and then, Give yourself a bonus. Some of y'all too deep for me, you know. Give yourself a bonus. Applaud yourself. Look in the mirror and talk to yourself. Come on, somebody. Every now and then, when you know you have worked and sold and travailed, when you know you're praying and seek, when you know, praise God, you stand up in the midst of persecution and rejection. Every now and then, take yourself on a vacation. Pat yourself on your back and encourage yourself in the Lord. When you're dead, you ain't caring. Smutton. You're going to keep all that money in the bank and never have an opportunity to enjoy life? I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more. Money with a poverty mindset. Educated but got a poverty mindset. Thinking big but, but small got you. So you button up everything. Tie up everything. Child, I go wait for these same old shoes. They all bent up on the side. Come on, somebody. The tie don't change in color. The suit got all the iron bind in it. Come on, somebody. And you got all the money in the bank. Talking foolishness. Hallelujah. Excellence is attention to detail. And the God we serve is an excellent God. Step up as a child of God. Walk in the excellence of God. Show yourself off. You are a child of the king. Says so different. Says so just different. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. We are that city that is set on the hill that cannot be here. We have been called out of darkness into the marvelous light to show forth the praises of God. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. We are a peculiar people. 
Don't let no one tell you anything different. You're an heir and a joint heir with Christ Jesus. You don't need to go back into the world. Egypt want to get here. People in the world want your peace. And you're trying to get their car and they stress. People want your joy. They got money and they ain't comfortable. You broke and comfortable. Well, you're not comfortably broke. But you know how to be a bound and you know how to be a bait. Y'all ready for the next one? <laughs> Favor don't mean that you're perfect, free from sin. It just means you are chosen. This means that I am covered in my imperfection. The Lord woke me up this morning with this. He said, you got to tell them this. Let them know. Let them know that favor covers your imperfection. Why just even in, in your imperfection? See, see, God is like our why. Even in our imperfection, they still love us. Okay, God is like father and mother to children. Even in their imperfection, we love them. Favor is beautiful. Favor looks beyond the imperfection. Favor covers our sin. Favor said, even though you deserve to be punished, I will not punish you. Hallelujah. I look beyond your imperfection. I know that word is blessing you. Well, you got to tune in next week as we continue the word. It's going to continue to bless your life. This is your year of favor. My brothers and sisters, God has blessed my wife and I to write a powerful book, In It to Win It. People are being blessed all around the city. As they read this book, marriages are going to the next level. Those who are engaged to be married are now being informed before they go into this sacred covenant. I want you to get your copy of In It to Win It. Yes, <laughs> we in this to win this. My wife and I did this book and I know it will bless your life. And then living the progressive life, hot off the press. We already been in Freeport and I'm telling you, God has blessed us. People bought the books in Freeport. We shared a powerful word throughout the churches there in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And this week, yes, this week, we're going to be in Bimini, Alice Town, Bimini, with my friend and brother, Apostle Gilbert Roll, at the Gateway Outreach Ministry at 7 p.m. This Wednesday, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be gloryful in the house. Listen to me, man. It's going to be preaching, prophecy, and laying on of hands. And I'm going to be signing some books. Come get your copy of Living the Progressive Life and In It to Win It. You want to be there. Beat me there at Gateway Outreach Ministry. We're going to be there sharing a powerful word with you. And then that following day, we're going to be throughout the community signing books. So make sure you're there to get your copy. And then on March the 20th, yes, I'm going to be with my friend and brother, Pastor Samuel Cornish at Change Ministries International. Listen to me. It's going to be crazy. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be there that Sunday evening. March Madness is going to be mad in the place. There's going to be powerful preaching, powerful our prophecy laying on of hands god is going to move in the house and then you want to get your copy of in it to win it living the progressive life listen to me these two books will be in abaco so you want to make sure get your copy and we will be signing books at maxwell's supermarket that monday from 9 a.m to 12 noon you don't want to miss it and listen y'all get ready 
We're going to come to Turks and Caicos Island. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing our brothers and sisters there in Turks and Caicos Providentials. Listen to me, man. I'm believing God that wherever God allowed the door to be open for me to share the word of God and release these books in that particular community, lives will be touched and changed by the power of God. So I want to be there with my friend uh, and brother uh, uh, Bishop uh, Williams. Come and be blessed. It is the 23rd through the 25th. We're going to be there at Abundant Life Ministries International. And then on Thursday, which is the 24th, from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m., we're going to be at IGA Store. Come and receive your copy of In It to Win It, A Couple's Guide to Building a Healthy Marriage and Living the Progressive Life, Strategies to Progress in Adversity. You want your copy, and not only your, you want your copy, you want to be in the house to receive a powerful word from the Lord. So looking forward to seeing you wherever we may be in your city. God bless you. We love you. We're praying for you. See you next week here on Rima Moment, the telecast. We'll be reaching out to give you life through the word of God. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. For more information about the Rima Moment or how to obtain a copy of today's message, call the number on your screen or email rhema at lwkm.org. Join us next week on Arama Moment, the telecast where we are reaching out to give life through the Word of God. Come and be a part of any of the following preaching engagements with Apostle Raymond Wells. is driven by the choices we make. Apostle Raymond Wells will be launching his new book, Living the Progressive Life. You are welcome to join him during the month of March on the 16th and 17th. Apostle Wells will be in Bimini at Gateway Outreach Ministries, Alice Town at 7 p.m. and a book signing will be throughout the community in Alice Town on the 18th. Apostle will be in Turks and Caicos Island at Abundant Life Ministries International, Leewood Highway, Providence Isles on the 23rd at 7 p.m. and at IGA, Leewood Highway, Providence Isles on the 24th at 4.30 through 6.30 p.m. Further info will be provided. Book release, signing, and impartation. For more information, contact us at 326 one seven seven five or email Rima at LWKM dot org.